Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you have seen the title of the video, it says how I remembered everything that I studied in my medical college. Well, it is definitely a clickbait title because I do not remember everything that I studied in medical college and neither should you. Because you know, the ability to forget is what gives our brain how to prioritize information. And it will clear up the space inside your brain and will help you remember new and latest stuff. But for the sake of this video, I will tell you few techniques that I followed which have helped me to remember great lot of deal during my studying period in my MBBS college and which has in fact helped me get good grades and you know helped me crack the entrance exam and join residency and all the good stuff. So without any delay let's get started. So guys in this video I will be telling you six techniques which have helped lot of people on the internet and which have helped me as well in studying and remembering better. So these are the six techniques that you see on the screen. We'll take up one by one and we'll go into a little bit in depth of each technique and how you can use that to implement it in your studying sessions. So guys, the first thing is going to be active recall. So this technique involves testing yourself on the material that you have studied and the material that you're trying to learn instead of rereading the same thing multiple times. This can be done, for example, by creating a flashcard where you write the question where you write the question or the title of the topic that you want to remember and the answer at the back of the flashcard and you look at the question and you will try to remember the topic that you read and the answer to the question so this is a little ancient way of doing it but right now there are so many apps on the internet on the play store and app store which help you create flashcards so one such popular app on the internet is Anki so Anki helps you make these amazing flashcards you know, where you see the title or the question of the topic and you try to actively recollect the answer from your memory. By trying to actively recall the answer, you are engaging into the material in a deeper way which will help you to solidify your memory. So there are multiple apps which help you do this and Anki is one such application. And apart from flashcards, the other way would be to do multiple choice questions or quizzing your friends or you know, attending quizzes or using any quiz app you know, with on the topics that you have studied. Therefore, this will also help you to recollect what you studied to answer the question and this will form a solid, solid memory. So the next tip would be spaced repetition. So if you Google on the internet and you see the remembering curve, it's something like this. So it is declining over a period of time. And to alter this declining process, you need to stimulate your memory at regular intervals of time. Therefore, you know, what we studied today, we only remember 50% of it tomorrow and by the end of one week, we only remember about 10% of it and late and as the time increases, the amount of stuff we remember will also decline. So to prevent this, you need to stimulate your memory at a regular interval time. So for that to happen, you need to make a schedule in such a way that whatever you are studying this week, you make sure you revisit it after one week you know after 10 days or 15 days and so on and so forth so again there are multiple applications on the internet which will help you do this if you are too lazy to make a schedule for yourself again Anki is great for this as well because it creates a scientifically based space repetition schedule which you can follow so that was the second technique that is space repetition so going on the third technique would be to do something called chunking so you know most of the topics in the textbooks are quite huge and it is very difficult for you to read the entire topic in one stretch. So what you can do is chunking that is breaking down the entire complex topic into smaller portions. For example, rather than memorizing the entire chapter in one stretch, you would break it down into smaller sections and focus on one section at a time. Therefore, your entire focus and your entire time you're dedicating to that particular small chunk. Therefore, you will be able to remember that way better than reading the entire topic in one stretch. The fourth advice would be to use mnemonics. Now the extreme leftists and rightists will go ahead and tell you that you, know, you can't use mnemonics, you know, you need to have deep understanding of the stuff, deep understanding of the stuff, you know, to become a good doctor. Well, that is true for few topics, but rest of all the other topics in medicine are going to be your factual information. For example, your pharmacology drug names. This particular drug is called chloramphenicol. You need to remember it like that. There is no other explanation or you know, there is no deep understanding to why it's called chloramphenicol. There might be, but it is not useful to us. And you know, 
when was penicillin discovered there is no logical way to understand this particular number so you need to remember few things in fact you need to remember a lot of things in medicine because medicine is 70% factual information and only 30% is connecting the links for a deeper understanding therefore don't shy away from mnemonics mnemonics are very very useful for you during your med school and don't let anyone tell you otherwise make a mnemonic make mnemonic such a way that uh, it is present in the name of the particular topic only for example if you are planning to remember the side effects of let's say captopril make a mnemonic which tells you all the side effects of that particular drug based on the name of the spelling of the drug itself in this way you will not forget the mnemonics for mnemonics so the next advice would be visualization so medicine is a science of human body therefore the better you are able to visualize the better you will remember for visualizing you can you know just try to imagine stuff in your brain or else you can draw it out this is especially useful in anatomy physiology and medicine and surgery and once you are able to draw it out you will be able to remember it for a longer duration of time therefore visualization is very important don't just keep writing those lengthy lengthy notes try to visualize and you know make it into a diagram format you bring out the artist inside you this will help you to remember stuff much much better last and the final advice in this video is going to be elaboration so guys elaboration is a technique which involves relating newer information that you are studying with older information which you already know in this way in this way this can help you in retaining new information much 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 better and easy to remember one example for this would be for example if you are reading the anatomy of heart let's say and you already know the anatomy of heart now once you go and read the physiology of heart how blood flows from left atrium into left ventricle and then into the aorta and all the valves and how they function you link this physiological information with the anatomical knowledge that you already know regarding heart therefore once you link this new thing that you are studying with something which you already know you will be able to remember this newer information much much better so guys those were the six techniques which will help you remember stuff better in your college and you know help you ace those midterm and semester exams if you find this video helpful do let me know in the comment section below and do like and subscribe because i will be coming up with more such student friendly videos in the future as well